Hi, how you guys doing? Um, we're going to take a look at OBS Studio version 25 on the Mac. Um, I don't currently have a Windows machine to show you there. Um, now of course, uh, the Windows version came out first uh, before the Mac. Now, I did look at the release notes and one of the, I consider one of the more important changes that they did was with uh, the ability to use Cube LUTs. Now, they've had LUT support prior to version 25, but it wasn't very good. It's based on a PNG file. You would have to um, edit in something like um, editing program. It was kind of a very lengthy process to get it to work. I wasn't very happy with it. Now with version 25, they support um, cube lots. You can uh, make yourself or download easily from the internet to to make it to work just to show you we're going to go ahead to my capture device and into filters and to the apply LUT section now before they had um here it is the uh original png which you would um edit to um make it work here's here you can see some of the edited png files uh, and also some in here now just to show you that it does work with any basically any 3d cube LUT I'm going to choose the Osiris collection and I'm going to go to uh, Vision 6 uh, 709 Rec 709 just to show you and as you can see um, turning it on and off it does work with cube LUT so this is great to see they finally fully implemented this correctly I guess you could say uh, we're going to tone down uh, the cube let just a little bit right there so that was one of the changes I was happy to see with version 25 another thing in the sources window you can right click and go from um, list view to grid which is a nice feature and just to show you and um, Another feature that I implemented is with Studio Mode, just to show you, and they now have a, uh, a fader bar, a T-bar, they, they uh, also call it, where you can transition manually from one preview to program at one time, just to show you, uh, and back again, I suppose. Um, for those it's useful in studio mode if you want that it's available I just um, prefer to do automatic uh, transition uh, instead of a t-bar but it is there if you want to use it and uh, we'll switch back to uh, video mode right here another thing they implemented is in audio and uh, we're going to go to audio advanced audios property and here normally they use DB meter um, which is used in professional audio you can change that to a percentage by right clicking over the source and choosing percent um, since I tend to use professional audio anyway I prefer to set it on DB DB meter just like so but that is available for um, people who just rather percentage rather than a dB meter. It might be useful for you. Uh, another thing that they have done is with scene collection, you can now import from other programs such as Streamlab, uh, Streamlab um, Studio, I guess. I can't remember the, the name of it, Streamlab OBS or something like that. Now... This is great if you want to import themes. Unfortunately, I didn't. I wasn't very successful in this. And um, just to show you, import now. Before it originally asked me if I wanted to automatically search for um, uh, available sources. I, I, I initially clicked no, and so I, I couldn't. Um, have any collection pass so I had to do it manually which um, it still worked but unfortunately I'm not going to do it now because it kind of seems to break uh, my video and audio coming in and you won't hear any sound or video but here it says unknown streamlab import 
and I click on it and it does show um, my theme from Steam Labs, but that's about it. It doesn't uh, wit, it doesn't really show any sources at all, any media sources. So that seems to need a little work uh, as far as that goes. Um, now there's some uh, other changes, um, bug fixes and things like that, but that's um, some of the changes I've noticed uh, with the release notes with version 25 for Mac. So um, just to show you, so thanks for watching and see you guys later.